Hello ladies and gents, my name is Carl Feldman and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create a Windows EC2 instance. So I will not waste any of your time and go right into it. What you want to do is go to the top search bar and type in EC2 and you should see it here. Click through. And you want to go to launch instance, which is by scrolling down a little bit. Click through. And if you want to, you can name and and tag tag the instance. But for here, I will not be doing that. And you can click through the images you want. You can click if you want an Amazon Linux image or mac os ubuntu but for this example we're doing windows and we're keeping it simple in other videos i will be doing the the other options so click click on the windows and you should see which image you want um, it will give you options you can scroll down but for this video i'm just going to keep it plain scroll down instance type you can go through yourself and click through the others and scroll down but just for this video this is what i'm going to stick by which is the t2 micro this is very important very very important um, key pair login this is how you're going to log in so what you want to do is create a new key pair login I'm just going to name it testing testing right and then PEM keep it there click PEM and create key pair and it's going to download Go to network settings, scroll down, and you can select existing security group, but I'm going to keep it at create security group. And you want to click and allow RDP traffic from. And for this example, I'm going to click anywhere, which is very unsafe, but um, I'm going to delete this EC2 instance after this video but um, you can click through and use your IP so the only way you'll be able to access and log into it all that that EC2 is using is, is from your IP address but we're not going to do that for this video I don't want to show my IP address for very obvious reasons you can configure the storage here but I will not do that if you scroll down you'll see that's there's nothing more you can go to advanced details info but i'm happy with that this is the summary i'm just going to launch instance and wait for it to load it should not take that long and you can click through here and then it will take you there but i will not do that i just scroll to the bottom out of habit view all instances You'll see I already had one, deleted it, terminated it, but pending, waiting for it. Um, really, I'm just going to click on it. Scroll. No, that's not it. It's up here. Connect click connect wait for it to be running i was just being impatient wait for it to be running it's going to be pending and wait for it to be running connect and then you'll see rdp client you come to this page rdp client and this is how you log in to your to your instance so what you want to do is get password
this is I've never seen this before but just for for a while I'm just going to pause this video and we're going to come back yes I just went backwards um, so what you do want to do is go back to the to, to RDP client page you can click back if you want and it will be there from where um, we left off and download click download remote desktop file it should be there I've downloaded it already connect this is how we will log in I'll just move that to the side for now um, get password you remember this is where it had that problem before but it won't be there now because I'm no longer rushing and it's it's gone through get password and what you want to do is upload private key and the private key is what we downloaded before remember the testing testing so upload that testing testing De decrypt password and it should tell you the password right there you go to here this is how you log in many videos won't show you how to log in but yes copy and paste into there it's going to come up with a screen just click yes and then we wait waiting for it to load and there is our Windows EC2 instance it will load I am not going to wait for it to load um, fully because it may take time it takes its time sometimes it takes five minutes sometimes it takes a minute but let me just pause this quickly and we'll come back hello so I'm back it has loaded this is what it will look like inside so this is what it looks like I am not going to go through it it is a Windows virtual machine just like any other Windows virtual machine but um, yes minimize it for now and really that is how you create your your Windows EC2 instance. Thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe and have a good day. Comment and tell me if I've helped you or if you want any help, do not be afraid to ask. Um, just let me know if these videos are helping in any form, which will give me motivation to continue to create more. So thank you for watching this video and have a good day. Bye.